Hello everyone, this is Darwell20, and welcome to episode 77 of Darwell20's Let's Play, or is it 76? I think it's 76 actually, so I lied. Of FTB Sky's Expert Mode. Uh, so you know what we're doing today? Uh, automating Osmium. So we've already kind of automated Osmium. And when I say kind of automated Osmium, we automated everything up to but excluding Osmium. And that's what we're going to remedy today. So last episode, uh, we got close to making our Ostrom space plating. And when we got there, I said, the next thing I need to look at is Osmium infused Ostrom ingot. Um, and the hint Osmium infused should have told me that I needed Osmium for this. And I absolutely do. So we need to get Ostrom ingots and infuse them in the Osmium compressor with Osmium, which means we're going to need to automate Osmium because we're going to probably, I assume, need a lot of this stuff. So I've already got most of this automation in place, right? I've got to the point where I can make platinum dust. Um, and we 100% and we, we automated that previously, right? So I can 100% be like, hey, we're gonna, we have liquid force already stored. We're gonna craft Isnium from 16 silver dust, which we're getting from raw silver, crusher spirit, all that stuff, right? Um, so easy peasy, not a problem, okay? So like crusher spirit is doing his job up there. He's going crush, crush, crush. And then we drop uh, the, the silver and the force into the, the, the machine. And then that machine turns that into, into platinum, which then we crushed up and then we, you know, infuse and then boom, we've got platinum. Sweet. So that's all doable. So here's my thoughts. You ready? I'm going to say keep half a stack. Okay. And this, is, this, this little area down here has become like my miscellaneous crafty area. But if I say keep half a stack in there, we should now be crafting more. Perfect. That's what I want to see. Cool. Okay. Um, what I'm going to set up is my centrifugal separator. This is the same one that I had over there in that area, um, right, with the whole upgrades and, like, all the auxiliary sieve stuff. Okay. Um, now, just to be sure, thermal expansion. Are there any other augments that, like, even further help with sieving. I'm just making sure. I'm pretty sure we already checked this, but it doesn't hurt. Um, no, because I really don't want to waste a slot for that. Catalyst use of, this is what I want, right? Secondary product. Because really, osmium is a secondary product, right? Pretty sure that's an accurate assessment. Yeah, I don't think there's much else we can get here. So you're cool being the resonant integral things. So what we want to do is plop this guy there again. Okay. But then your job will be to... You're extracting on what? Um, items is white. So what we're going to want to do is have a filtered insert for white okay so see he already tried to start inserting which is fine which is totally fine uh by the way do eight items at a time would be cool with me right um and then your configuration will be this okay cool now you're gonna centrifuge the platinum you're gonna stick it in there above okay um what i would like to do is have you keep in stock a specific amount of platinum dust. And that would be two. And now, laser IO will always keep two platinum in here. Okay. When it gets pulled down, okay, it's going to eventually, you know, pull constant, like, and fill up this stack, but there's nothing I can do again about that. The point being, though, is that we never overflow. The functional storage drawer it'll always have just two in it then when this runs remember there's a pretty solid chance it's going to make another piece of platinum dust so it'll push it up and pull it back down and then we're not constantly producing platinum and we're not constantly like backstuffing platinum right we'll also produce gravel at a relatively um you know decent clip right and now we've got our osmium coming in here uh, which we could probably, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to storage bus this, but we're going to filter it so it can only interact with the osmium stacks. And I'll probably let it steal gravel too. 
And maybe I'll make it a high priority so that it pulls the gravel first. Is that smart? Does that sound cool? Right? So I do this, but then I remove the platinum. Because I, the last thing I wanted to do is pull platinum out of here in order to feed this, right? So now he he can't interact with platinum. All he can do is gravel and osmium, right? Um, and then we make this a high priority, and now you're cool, right? Osmium, gravel, and that's the end of that. Cool. I like that plan. Okay. That works for me. Oh, I didn't mean to hit that button. No platinum, right? Gravel and osmium only. Cool. So now if we look, we should have osmium. Uh, and if I remove and reinsert, now you'll have the 24 sitting in there as a high priority, right? And now if I were to steal gravel out of here, cool. Okay. That works for me. Cool, cool, cool. Um, yeah. I might extract the gravel. You know what I'm gonna do? I might extract the gravel. Can we stocking mode some card here? That shouldn't be too bad, right? Yeah. Stocking mode the card. Stock, filter, gravel. Can you do that? I would have to whitelist gravel to be allowed to be interacted with over here, right? Now can you drain? Yeah, you can. Nice. Eight items at a time. Cool. So now you're no longer allowed to interact with gravel. You're only allowed to interact with the osmium in here, right? So any gravel that's being produced is being pulled out of the drawer, pushed into the AE system, um, and then probably being stored in the gravel drawer that's over here, which is perpetually empty as a result of constant sipping, but that's okay, right? How cool is that? I think that's awesome. That's some very nice um, osmium interaction. Right, and um, so how much are you going to store? Five twelve. I'm I'm cool with that number of osmium dust being available at any given time. Cool. So now that we've got osmium automated, we should probably automate. Now, did I did I include in this guy the ever burning air? So if I say I want to make osmium ingots, do you know to you don't even know how to make osmium ingots? Okay, well then that's the answer to that bad boy. You get to learn. It's a learning time. So osmium ingots are made in an arc furnace with these two things, right? And on the down here, did I filter this correctly? Your dash, right? So what we want is ever-burning air to go here. And on the down, you cannot accept ever-burning air. Okay, cool. So then if I put this pattern in here and said I wanted an osmium ingot, it says we're missing ever burning air. So let's remember how that's made. I made it a long time ago, so it shouldn't be too bad. So you just smelt air essence, which I think we already know how to make. Uh, so let's let's do that. Energize smelter, where are you at? Smelting factory, there you are. Sweet, okay. So now if I want osmium ingots and start he should be smart and boom that's cool that's cool and power is doing okay but not amazing yeah we're really uh pushing the limits of power at this point we should probably start thinking about nuclear power, which I suspect is gonna be a whole thing. But, um, I'm debating like saving myself some channels here and going uh, the laser IO route for this. That might not be a terrible idea.
How about I do that? How about I save myself some channels here and go the laser IO route, and that'll make my life a little bit easier? I think so. Because we're going to be really um, choking on channels here very soon. So if I did this and instead got an interface, with a crafting card. Okay. That's right, you have a lot of work to do, don't you? Can I speed you up at all? Mm, probably not, I don't see any fabrication matrix speed up recipes. Got there though, so that's cool. Okay, so if I just tacked you onto here, this probably just saved me a whole lot of channels. Now you're an enriching factory, so realistically this is the place where I'd want it to be. And what we would want is enriched carbon, redstone, and I, I'm gonna want you to have a crafting card, so now he can craft on demand. And you, and you. and source gems, right? Because you're going carbon, redstone, diamond, that dude, and then source gems. And then ultimately we're gonna wanna do osmium ingots as well. So one of each kept in stock. And then I can do osmium compressor, right? Connect all these dudes. Now on the south side of you, you're going to extract on, doesn't really matter. How about red? Does that sound cool? One item at a time. And then on the down, you're gonna insert filter module carbon one, right? So if I snag that out of there and put these away, what he should do, uh, and on the down, don't forget to go with red channel, right? And he's only gonna keep one enriched carbon in there. So that'll save me, not huge waste, but like also we're not gonna just have like a stack of osmium, which is a pretty expensive resource, just sitting around not being used, right? We'll do our thing. Is that cool? Now, if I wanted to, I could make these stocking cards and do um, basically like reverse it, right? So I could do stock. And then on the south, you could be that. And it would work the exact same way, right? Uh, I kind of like that approach better. I do. I do. Right? So you're going to stock a filter enriched redstone on red that has to be on the down by the way so i remove you guys put you away and then boom you stocked your redstone good deal okay now i need some more filters it wouldn't be a bad idea to teach you how to make observers and filters because i use these a lot Shouldn't be too bad. Yeah, just making the logic chips. Which is not terrible. I like, like these processes definitely take a while, but I really appreciate that they're automated now. Okay, so down, you filter on red, stock, enriched diamond, right? So remove, and then he's gonna keep it in, sweet, okay? Down, filter, enriched obsidian, stock mode, red, remove. Enriched obsidian, channel red, stock. There we go. That's why I always test. Easy to miss something like that, right? So filter, stock. 
channel red. Uh, source gem is this one, right? And that's looking good. And then finally, the down here will be stock, red, filter, osmium times one. See? And now it's putting the 200 millibuckets of osmium in there, keeping one osmium ingot, and that's cool. Okay. Okay. Give me two, 10 more item cards, actually. So we're actually short on silver ingots. Uh, so what I should do is teach you how to make silver ingots, or should we automate the production of things like silver ingots? Like, should we do auto-processing? Hmm. I suspect there's going to be some mess. Uh, let me think about that one for a second. I'll be right back. All right, so now that we've got Osmium relatively well automated, looking good, uh, I should be able to get this Osmium-infused Ostrom dude, but we don't need the actual Osmium. We just say put that in there. And then osmium infused plates and we should be cool so where's my plates at where are my plates at there they are boom okay and then you're gonna be this guy and then i should be cool to make ostrom space plating we've got all the things it feels like it now you might be slow but we can help with that a little bit, right? And then your side config auto eject on. You did your thing. Cool. Crafting. Crafting. Platinum plate. Why are you still crafting a platinum plate? Uh, cancel. Can't store contents of polytetrafluoroethylene. Yeah, that makes sense. What I could do is probably unlock you for a sec. I would have thought maybe but shouldn't that shouldn't that have worked do you not have this thing all hooked up nope you are all hooked up so if you're unlocked you should be able to store in there yes I mean, polytetrafluoroethylene is a is a thing, right? I guess what I could do is use my is it? It's not a polytetrafluoroethylene is definitely a bucket. Yeah, it's a fluid for sure, so it should be able to go in there. Since I unlocked it, fluid slot empty. You think I can like, nope. All right, not quite sure why that's not behaving itself, but let's just clear this filter then. Relock you just to be safe, and let's just try it again. So if I want to make a platinum plate, you should be cool with that, I would think. Like, I know you're making platinum ingots for my guy, but, like, you should be smart enough to be like, yes. Platinum plate go here. 
Where did the platinum plate go? Why is that not working? I'm actually really confused by that because you shouldn't be doing too much anymore and you're actually getting very close to being good and full, which I like. Right, so we get a platinum ingot, we put it in here. Where did you go, platinum ingot? Where indeed? Where did the platinum ingot go? Anyone? That should have worked. Okay, let's let's spend many hours on this. What is going on here? Because your down is extracting on orange, and it will extract anything. And then on the south face, you're inserting anything and extracting what? Deny, do not have... Control for tags. Forge ingots platinum. Oh. He's probably extracting the moment he inserts. Because I don't think he has the forge ingots tag. He just has the forge ingots platinum tag. Whereas like this, for example, see item tag is forge ingots? Yeah. So... So... Do plates have tags properly? Well, we'll find out. That's what's happening for sure. Forge plates, forge plates, forge plates, forge plates, forge plates. That all looks pretty good. Hopefully they all do. So what we could do is just like whitelist forge plates, right? These three don't, but that's okay. Most of them seem to have it. So how about on the south face here, we will extract... Forge plates, we will add. Forge ingots, we will remove. And we'll make it an allow list. Is that cool? That seemed better? We'll see what happens. But I think that's going to be cool for me. I think that solves that interesting problem. And if we have to move away from using the tag filter, we will. I don't want to have to move away from it, but I will if I need to, right? So you're still making the Isenium dust for me. There we go. Now you're smelting that. Now you're making that. Now you did that. And now we're cool. Okay, good. Good, 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 good. Okay. So now if I want Ostrom space plating... Start. What are you getting stuck on now? Osmium infused Ostrom plate. Do you do the same thing? He does not have the tag on him. Ha <laughs> ha. All right. So here's what we're going to do. Um, on the south face, you are inserting things. So where does the purple insert go? I assume somewhere down here, right? Yes. So what if we stocking mode with a specific list, right? So on the south face, you are inserting on orange. So we'll stocking on orange. So on the up, we will do... See, we just ran into the problem I said we would. Um, Whitelist, orange, stock, osmium, infused, dude. Now we're cooking up that. Cool. And if we go over here, we'll see that you made the thing. And did we get it? We got the thing. <gasps> Quest complete. Nice. That is cool. Boy, does he use a lot of power. Did I never get you to behave a little bit? I, no, I did. You're cool. Oh, that's right. I limited you, right? Yeah, we can probably just remove that limit. Or we can bump it up. How about eight? 
that cool? Why are you being all splurty about it? Because your priority's low. Yeah, we're choking on power. There's a big surprise, everybody. Dyer's low on power. Oh, you mean I just expanded a massive amount of, uh, of machines and automation and did nothing to address the fact that I'm low on power and I'm somehow now low on power? I'm shocked. Shocked, I say! Let's get a bucket. Of this. So that we can... Just do that for a sec, Magnum Crucible. Oh my goodness, you're low on power. We are so low on power, holy cow. Yes, we are. We are gonna have to deal with that at some point, aren't we? And it's not even you that's choking me because you're a low priority. Yeah, I bet a lot of it is down here. You know what it is? So part of it's gonna be that I made you really you know, upgrade -y. So how about we install the, uninstall these um, upgrades and then we can put like four energy upgrades in you. So energy upgrades only. What is going on? Why am I hearing explosions? Does anyone know what those explosions are all about? Because I have no idea. What, the, what is exploding? Oh, you. Oh, yeah, okay. No, I guess that makes sense. I'm low on power because... Yeah, I'm low on you. I'm low on your power, right? You should probably be a high priority, right? Probably. Probably make you a high priority, maybe. It's like, why are there explosions? Oh, right. The wither that is now free. As soon as he, like, gets into his position, he should be cool. Psst. Hey. Come on. Well, he should eventually stop. I mean, he should be relatively safe in there, but still, yes. Problems. How much are you using, by the way? A little over a thousand. Okay, that's fair. You should be like a really high priority, right? Like 200? I always want you to get power. How much are you using over here? I bet these guys are power hungry. Yeah, they're using like 3,500 RF a tick. Did I overclock anything? I think I overclocked you, didn't I? I did. Yeah, I don't need you to be fast anymore. And hopefully that cuts down, because you actually were very power hungry. So cutting down on the overclockers there hopefully helps. Yeah, like massively helped. Yeah, overclocking that thing was definitely not a smart move. So maybe now we're cool on power? We'll see once everything refills their buffers. But you're running again, so that's a sign that's good. Yes, I'm going to assume that this will be cool once the buffers refill, but we're absolutely going to need to look into better power because obviously that's something we're going to have to deal with. Hello, Quantum Goat. Can you give me better power? And low on power. Don't forget to tick accelerate very power hungry machines. But I'm impatient, he says. Oh my goodness. Now we're really choking. <laughs> Dire, please. I bet you're draining a lot of power too, aren't you? I bet you are. Yeah, you're you're probably power hungry. And then you're probably also trying to refill your buffer a little bit. We'll get there. I just want that bucket's worth of poly tetra, whatchamacallit. There we go. So let's do um, you unlock. You can go in there. 
now you're locked and now you should be cool and we'll no longer get the message about um not being able to store it right so now we can store poly tetra whatchamacallit and it'll have like a little little buffer there for when it because we need that right because we use less than we produce to make stuff so we definitely need a little buffer window yeah that works for me all right so let's say you we wrap up the episode here so we've now completed these two quests which is cool um getting ostrom to go to venus is going to be part of our next task um indeed we also want to get crystallized uranium crystals um and an rtg generator these are two things that we should apparently be working towards right um so for now adult 20 sign off we'll come back next time and figure out what's going on with that stuff for now take it easy